God bless you, Saints. This is uh, your brother Sean here. I just wanted to come on here and just mention, you know, this last video that I just made about message to our leaders. The heart of it, guys, is that uh, there's a spirit of double-mindedness that's in the church that we can sometimes sin and other times basically saying that we're holy and and this is coming from the holiness leaders. Not not even the uh, This is not even coming from the lukewarm church. The, there's lukewarmness in the holiness leaders for the fear of man. They are preaching. Sorry, my if you see a scratch upside my head, <laughs> cat just scratched me. <laughs> but anyways, I'll try to do this. Uh, they're they're preaching to the uh, basically that we're all gonna fall sometimes. We're all gonna make mistakes sometimes, and this is very common in the church, guys. But when you dwell closer to the Lord and when you get sensitive to the Lord's Spirit, He shows you things. And He says He's not pleased with this kind of faith. This is not faith because whenever they hear the judgments of the Lord, they all of a sudden curdle up into a ball of fear and think that they're being placed under some kind of law. And they think, uh, and God showed me this Spirit, and I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to do some prophetic writing. I must, might just, instead of speaking it like I did, just put it, because it's better in writing, guys. That that message to the leaders, I'm going to have to put it in writing and post it on my channel, the discussions part of it, you know, where they make posts on here. But, uh, you know, there's what God showed me, and I'll, I'll, I'll place it on there next, is there's this Leviathan spirit in the world and in the church that's controlling them. And they have... Uh, it's controlling them through this uh, spirit under it called mammon. And this mammon spirit has two tentacles. The spirit of uh, pride and the spirit of fear. The uh, Leviathan using mammon and, and mammon taking the, that spirit either he uses pride for the, for the world not to come to God, when they hear the message of repentance, they say, you're trying to put me under religion and bondage. All that is religion and garbage. And so he uses, uh, uh, Leviathan uses the spirit of mammon to uh, give the spirit of uh, pride to the world, saying that's just religion. And for the church, when they hear the repentance, when those holiness preachers hear repentance all the way, go and sin no more, when they hear that message, Leviathan uses uh man mammon with the spirit under it of uh of what do you call it um the spirit under it of uh fear and, and fear and suspicion creeps in and they get afraid of the message and so they bubble up to protect themselves they uh they get this uh defense mechanism of unbelief and they say that can't be of god because they get so afraid because that means they're going to have to all the way walk holy now, I know God has grace and everything, but if we think we always have to fall, then we are out of step with God. We're not walking by faith because the Bible says, Great peace have those who love your law, O God, and nothing causes them to stumble. And I know it does say a righteous man falls uh, seven times, but he arises, you know. But that is, there are stages and levels of faith that you got to get to. And... The perfect wisdom is great peace have those who love your law and nothing causes them to stumble. And Jesus, remember Jesus spoke out of that perfection. He said, go and sin no more. He didn't say just a little bit. Sometimes fall, he said, go and sin no more. And the Bible said, I believe it's in the New Testament, those who have faith, there is no occasion for stumbling in him. You can just look, Google that up. There's no occasion for stumbling. You'll get the scripture for that. I can't remember that off the top of my head, but that phrase just popped in my head from the scripture. So guys, uh, there's no occasions for stumbling those who place their faith in Jesus. But when people hear the fear of judgments, the proper, or they hear that, I should say not the fear of judgments, they hear the judgments being declared that we must repent, we have to go and sin no more. When the holiness leaders do that, the proper response, or if anybody hears that, the proper response is not a fear and unbelief and looking at your flesh and looking at your mistakes in your past. Uh, the proper response is uh, to have faith and look at Jesus and say, I can't do it by myself, but with you, I'll be able to do it. And they're also consulting. Uh, they're, I believe Mandela talked about the shadow self. And you see the character uh, Two-Face from uh, the Batman. 
stories. You know, the Batman movies, the Batman comic books, Two-Face, that's a spirit of uh, double-mindedness. And God says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let not that man think he will receive anything of the Lord. So people will say, I have to sometimes fall into sin, and then I'm, I'm going to be okay here. They are double-minded. And, and Jesus says, you know, the Word of God says, let not those people think they will receive anything of the Lord. Not salvation, not anything. And it's not that he's not offering it. But that double-mindedness is going to put them out of the promise. Because very well, they will find themselves, he says, they begin to say, my master is delayed his coming and begin to eat and drink with the other servants and be drunken. Then the master of that servant will come on a day that that servant is not looking for him and will uh, cut his house asunder and portion, his portion with the hypocrites. That's what Jesus said. And that's that's the fiery word of God. I mean, it cannot be censored. It cannot be altered. It cannot be changed. It's It's God's word, guys. So the leaders, as I said, they're going to have to decide whether they believe that or they're going to stand on that. They're going to have to decide, are they going to trust in their flesh to make them keep on sin, or are they going to trust in God? But they are trust double-minded, thinking we have to sometimes sin. They have that two-faced spirit, that, that Mandela shadow self that they're consulting, that they just matter of a flip in a coin, and it's a measure of chance whether or not they're going to walk in holiness or, or or fall into sin, matter of chance, or no matter what the day brings. That's why they think they're going to have to repent of that if they're going to uh, come out of that sin. Because as long as they think double-minded like that, let them not re think they'll receive anything of the Lord. We have to be, guys, we have to know the faith. We have to know whom we have believed, guys. We have to be persuaded that he's a, re a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We cannot be double-minded, guys. Um, these are the words of the Lord. I'm not going to censor them. I'm not going to change them. Uh, if, if my people, says the Lord, will come out of this double-mindedness and they will repent, I will remove their insecurities. I will remove their fears. I will remove their occasions for stumbling and, and those times of falling. I will remove those things if they'll keep their eyes on me. As long as they keep their eyes on me, they will never fall. This is the word of the Lord, guys. He who has an ear, let him hear.